Dear learners, we are moving to lesson 2 accounting concepts. And in this lesson, we are going to explain accounting concept, meaning of business entity concept, money measurement concept, going concern concept, accounting period concept and accounting cost concept. Accounting concept means the basic assumptions and rules and principles which work as the basis for recording business transactions and it helps in preparing accounts. We have different types of accounting concepts like business entity concept, money measurement concept, going concern concept, accounting period concept, accounting cost concept, duality concept, realization concept, matching concept and accrual concept. Let us study these one by one. Business entity concept assumes that for accounting purpose, the business enterprise and the owners are two separate independent entities. When the owner takes away from the business, either cash or goods, for his personal use, then it is not treated as a business expense. Owner invests money in the business. So, how we will consider that? It is considered as a liability of the business. Owner takes away from the business cash or goods for his personal use. It is not treated as a business expense. Basis of accounting is the business entity concept. Accounting records are made in the books of accounts from the point of view of the business. Suppose Mr. Anil started business investing 1 lakh. He purchases goods for rupees 40,000. He purchased furniture for 20,000, plant and machinery for 30,000 and remaining rupees 10,000 is as cash with him. These are the assets of the business. These are not the assets of the owner. That is what business entity concept is emphasizing. So, this 1 lakh which is invested by the owner is the capital. When it is a capital, it is a liability of the business towards the owner of the business. Now, suppose he takes away rupees 5000 in the form of cash or in the form of goods for his domestic use. Withdrawal of goods by the owner from the business, this is the case. So, you will record in the business accounts as drawings. Here you can see business is separated by the owner. So, they are two different persons or separate persons. Business and owner are separate persons. Accordingly, any expense incurred by the owner for himself will be shown as drawings. Expense incurred by the owner for himself, that is drawings. Now, business entity concept has certain significance, that is, it helps in ascertaining the profit, restrains accountant from recording owner's private transactions, from recording owner's personal transactions. Business entity concept helps in recording and reporting business transactions and it is the basis of accounting principles. This concept is the basis of accounting conventions and concepts. Now coming to money measurement concept. This concept assumes that all business transactions must be expressed in terms of money. That is the currency of that particular country. 
in a country business transactions are in terms of rupees sale of goods worth rupees 2 lakh purchase of raw materials rupees 1 lakh rent paid rupees 10000 all these transactions are expressed in terms of money so it is recorded in the books of account transactions which cannot be expressed in monetary terms are not recorded in the books of accounts which are those items which are not recorded in the books of account honesty sincerity loyalty of the employees of that organization definitely it will affect the profit or loss of the business Honesty, loyalty and sincerity will increase the profit of that particular organization but as per the accounting principles or concept or as per the money measurement concept we cannot value honesty, we cannot value how much loyalty he has, we cannot value the sincerity of the employees. So it is not recorded in the books of accounts. Records are kept in monetary units. Records are not kept in physical units according to the money measurement concept. For example, land measuring 10 acres like that we will not say. We will say it has land worth rupees 12 crores. Office building containing 50 rooms like that we cannot record. We will record it as office building worth rupees 10 crore. Personal computers of 50 numbers. We cannot say that 50 personal computers are there. We can say only like this computers worth rupees 10 lakh. 50 office chairs and tables. No, we will say as worth rupees 2 lakh. Raw materials of 100 kilo. We can't say in accounting like this. We can say raw materials worth rupees 3 lakh or 30 lakh like that. So, money measurement concept guides accountants about what to record and what not to record that is the significance it helps in recording business transactions uniformly it facilitates the comparison of business performance of two periods of the same firm it also facilitates comparison of two different firms for the same period Coming to going concern concept. This concept states that a business firm will continue to carry on its activities for an indefinite period of time. Every business has continuity of life. We have the assumption that business will not be dissolved in the near future. Significance of going concern concept. This concept facilitates Preparation of financial statements. This also helps in charging depreciation on fixed assets. In the absence of this concept, the cost of a fixed asset will be treated as expense in the year at the time of purchase. A business is judged for its capacity to earn profits in future. Next is the accounting period concept. All the transactions are recorded in the books of accounts on the assumption that profits on these transactions are to be ascertained for a specific period and this is known as accounting period concept. Indefinite life of the business concern is divided into different parts and these parts are known as the accounting period. For example, we can say accounting period can be for 3 months, 6 months, 1 year like that. Year that begins from 1st April to 31st March of the following year is the financial year. Year that begins from January 1st to 31st December is the calendar year. According to accounting period concept, we have 2 years we will record like financial year or as calendar year. Significance of accounting period concept. 
It helps in predicting the future prospects of the business. It helps in calculating tax on business income. That too for a particular time period because accounting period mentions the time period. So we can calculate tax for a particular time period. Accounting cost concept. This is a concept which states that all assets are recorded in the books of account at their purchase price and not at its market price. Cost of acquisition, cost of transportation, cost of installation are added while recording the cost of fixed asset. Fixed assets are recorded in the books of account at a price paid for them. Which are the fixed assets that you know? Land, building, plant, machinery, etc. So, this is recorded at a price paid for them. Here is an example. A machine was purchased by XYZ Limited for 5 lakh. This machine is purchased for manufacturing shoes. An amount of rupees 1000 were spent on transporting the machine to the factory site. And rupees 2000 were spent on its installation. So 5 lakh plus 1000 plus 2000 that is 5 lakh 3000. That is the amount at which the machine is recorded is 5 lakh 3000. Suppose the market price of the same is now 90,000. That is 5 lakh is the cost of installation or cost of the fixed asset. But the market price is 90,000. We will not record the market price. We will record only the amount at which machine is bought. That is the historical cost. Amount at which machine is recorded is the historical cost. It involves acquisition cost, installation cost, etc. Amount at which this machine is recorded is the cost price that is 5 lakh 3000. Cost concept is also known as historical cost concept. Cost means acquisition cost of new asset. For new assets, cost means acquisition cost for new asset. And for used asset, cost means original cost less depreciation. Significance of the accounting cost concept. This concept requires asset to be shown at the price at which it is acquired which can be verified from the supporting documents. It also helps in calculating depreciation on fixed assets. The effect of cost concept is that if the business entity does not pay anything for an asset, this item will not be shown in the books of accounts. Next is the dual aspect concept. This is the foundation principle of accounting or basic principle of accounting. Every transaction has dual effect. That is, it affects two accounts. Transactions are recorded at two places. Dual aspect means transactions are recorded at two places. Duality concept is expressed in terms of fundamental accounting equation which is that accounting equation that is assets equals liabilities plus capital. For this transaction let us identify which are the dual aspects. Capital brought in by the owner of the business. Here receipt of cash is one aspect. Increase in capital is the other Increase in capital is the other aspect. Goods sold for cash, another transaction. Receipt of cash is one aspect. Delivery of goods to the customer is the other aspect. So, dual aspect concept has certain significance. This concept helps accountant in detecting errors. It encourages the accountant to post each entry in opposite sides of two affected accounts.
coming to realization concept. This concept states that revenue from any business transaction should be recorded in the accounts only when it is realized. Term realization means creation of legal right to receive money. Selling of goods is realization. Receiving order is not realization. Revenue is said to have been realized when cash has been received or right to receive cash on the sale of goods or services or both have been created. Here is an example. NP jeweler received an order to supply gold ornaments worth rupees 5 lakh. They supplied ornaments worth rupees 2 lakh. Only 2 lakh up to the year ending 31st December 2030. And the rest of the ornaments were supplied in January 2014. The revenue for the year 2013 for NP jeweler is 2 lakh. That is mere getting an order is not considered as revenue until the goods have been delivered. Bensel sold goods for 1 lakh for cash in 2030 and the goods have been delivered during the same year. The revenue for Bensel for the year 2013 is 1 lakh as the goods have been delivered. Cash has also been received in the same year. That is, what conclusion we can derive from this principle? That is, when revenue is realized, that is, goods and services are delivered at that time, revenue is realized. So, significance of realization concept, it states that transaction should be recorded only when goods are delivered to the buyer. Next is the accrual concept. Meaning of accrual is something that becomes due, especially an amount of money that is yet to be paid or received at the end of the accounting period. It means that revenues are recognized when become receivable. Though cash is received or not received and the expenses are recognized when they become Payable though cash is paid or not paid. Both transactions will be recorded in the accounting period to which they relate. The accrual concept assumes certain things like revenue is realized at the time of sale of goods or services. That is whether the cash is received or not we are not considering. When the sale of goods is done, goods or services is made means revenue is realized. A firm sells goods for rupees 55,000 on 25th March 2014. Payment is not received until 10th April 2014. That is next financial year has already started. The amount is due and payable to the firm on the date of sale that is on 25th March 2040. It must be included in the revenue for the year ending 31st March 2014. Expenses are recognized at the time services are provided that is expenses are recognized irrespective of the fact when actual payment for these services are made. If the firm received goods costing rupees 20,000 on 29th March 2014, but the payment is made on 2nd April 2014, the accrual concept requires that expenses must be recorded for the year ended 31st March 2014. No payment has been made until 31st March 2014, but the services has been received. Person to whom payment should have been made is known as the creditor. And as a concluding fact, I would like to say, accrual concept requires that revenue is recognized when realized 
expenses are recognized when they become due and payable without regard to the time of cash receipt or cash payment significance of accrual concept it helps in knowing actual expenses and actual income during a particular time period it helps in calculating the net profit of the business coming to matching concept this concept states that revenue and the expenses incurred to earn the revenues must belong to the same accounting period expenses should be matched with revenue example revenue is rupees 3150 and expenses rupees 2900 This comparison of the revenue and expenses has resulted in a profit of rupees 250. What exactly has been done by applying matching concept? Revenue is more than the expenses means we will get profit. Expenses are more than the revenue means loss. So with the help of matching concept we can identify the profit or loss that has occurred in the business for a particular year significance of matching concept matching concept guides how the expenses should be matched with revenue for determining exact profit or loss for a particular period investors will know the exact amount of profit or loss of the business dear learners in this class we have identified the meaning of accounting concept and we came to know different concepts like business entity concept money measurement concept going concern concept accounting period concept accounting cost concept etc so hope you understood that very well thank you